Hey, Dr. Mikhail Rashik of Neurogenomics here making another quick update on mRNA vaccines and COVID-19. So uh, what I wanted to let you know in today's video is a very new concept that I have not introduced before, which is how electric charge on the surface of the Omicron variant might be contributing to both its enhanced infectivity while at the same time potentially making it milder variant. So I might understand that electric charge might not be a concept that is often thought of when in the context of the pandemic. So let me introduce this. So recall in a, in a video dedicated to how virus might be using binding to sugar molecules to gain entry inside cells. I mentioned in that video that in the molecular world, everything is ruled by three dimensional shape. That's not complete part of the story. That would be one of the major contributing factors that rule molecular world. The other one is the surface charge. So what I'm talking about is we're talking about like just batteries are positive, can be positive or negative depending on the side of the battery. So this is the type of charge that can be found basically, you think of almost for sake of, sake of simplicity, simplicity, every atom and together atoms that make up proteins they will impart specific charge to a protein and spike protein has more negative charge for example than positive charge distributed on its three-dimensional surface now that charge plays a role in how spike protein interacts with the receptor or the neutralizing antibodies and what multiple authors have demonstrated is that omicron is far more positive than previous variants so basically by comparing the delta the receptor binding domain of omicron with delta variant or the wild type strains you can actually map the evolution of the variants how they're becoming more and more positive throughout throughout the evolution so one set of authors showed that with the receptor binding domain what's interesting about that particular publication is that they also showed that omicron might confer greater ability to interact with the, with the sugar molecules that are covering our cells so remember in that same video dedicated to crazy sugar vi virus tricks i was also talking about how sugar covers molecular surface almost everywhere in the molecular world you can encounter entire tree-like structures made out of sugar and the spike protein can interact with these through its charge interaction and Omicron by being more positive can interact with with these sugars better because they are negatively charged so that's one way the other way that that um, Omicron might be interacting better is through potentially interacting with better with ACE2 receptors and another group from Poland in fact demonstrated that where they mapped the evolution of charge of spike proteins for last year and they were able to show that basically the variants have been becoming more and more positive throughout the evolution so that's one of the primary evolutionary forces on the spike protein has been to make it more and more positive positively charged so this is why these variants including omicron might be escaping the um, neutralizing antibodies as well as interact with with the receptor another group showed that as well and in this particular manuscript you can also even see that along the way when the spike protein receptor binding domain of the spike protein from the original wild type variant to delta to omicron is becoming more and more positive along the way the n-terminal domain which might be important for interacting with those sugar entities part of it is becoming more and not more negative so there's probably some evolutionary reason for that as well but what's interesting about those particular authors with that manuscript is that they also stated that this increased positive charge might have helped omicron really effectively bind to the receptors and therefore become more infectious but along the way this mutation that gave it this ability to infect better compromised its ability to fuse with the cells that it's binding to and that's what might make omicron milder variant basically it has accidentally impeded its pathogenicity so it's no longer it can bind better to our cells but it's no longer as good infecting them and one of the ways they're suspecting this might be happening is because of the fact that it's no longer cleaved as well because the charge of the furin ring has also been altered in the omicron and they demonstrated in a very ingenious way 
they showed that Omicron escapes neutralizing antibodies to a significant degree and that's likely because of that charge but they also were able to show that the fusion of the cells after interacting of the Omicron spike protein with the human cell receptor the fusion is not taking uh, place as efficiently and I wanted to give you an example of how clever scientists can be what they did is they put the spike protein on one type of cell and the receptor on another type of cell but these cells were genetically engineered in such way that they would fluoresce upon fusion with one another and you would need the viral spike protein and the receptor to interact in order to for those cells to fuse and in the image they were able to that you can see they were able to show that very effectively that in comparison to prior strains omicron variant while it might interact so much better with with the with the receptors it does not fuse as effectively with the cells that it's attempting to infect and they were able to these authors were able to show that also they the omicron does not infect as easily lung cells and that might explain why omicron while it might be very infectious it does not interact as effectively in terms of being able to infect invaded lung cells and that's why the it might have accidentally mutated itself into being less pathogenic while being more infectious so that could explain something as up to this point might have been a mystery and it's all thanks to this electric charge on the surface of the spike protein so i thought this was very interesting i wanted to share this with you this is basically how evolution of the variant has been happening it's becoming differently electrostatically charged than what it, we started with and uh, i wanted to conclude to let you know that we have another covid 19 event coming up so please check it out the link to the event is in the description below there's a lot of fun this is where you the audience can participate and give uh questions to to us and we also pull some questions from the youtube comments and answer them and i also wanted to remind you please participate in our survey to for you the audience to pick the upcoming video content we want you to help us decide basically as to what kind of videos we should be making in the future because we're we're going through way more literature than we can possibly uh, describe in our videos so please check that out vote help us decide if you like this video if you like this content give us a like subscribe to the channel share the video you know how you know how it works and we're looking forward forward to seeing you guys again bye everyone